Good afternoon. Today I'm not in the barn kitchen. I wanted to come out and show you what I'm doing in one of my high tunnels. I have two high tunnels. They're both 30 by 72 feet and they've kind of been a mess for me the last couple of years. I don't know if it's just I'm getting too old to keep up with it. This summer fight with my chemo and dealing with breast cancer has been a challenge, but even last year, it seems like they're just really turned into a lot of work that I can't keep up with. So I'm, I'm revamping them stage by stage. What I'm gonna do is go to raised beds and container growing in the tunnel, and I'm hoping that I can keep up with it better. Let me flip this around and I'll show you kind of what I'm dealing with this summer. Okay, here we go. I wanna show you what I have right now. I've kinda of got a mess. This was a row of basil growing next to my raspberries. And I realized too late, which you can see down at the bottom, it turned into a jungle to the point where I was almost afraid to get in there and pick the raspberries for fear I'd run into a copperhead, which we have quite a bit of around here. So I've learned not to plant up against these raspberries again. What I'm gonna do for next year is run a raised bed the length of this tunnel, at least that's the plan, most of it, two foot wide and 10 inches tall to use to plant some, a little bit of everything in actually. But that will still give me almost three feet between the edge of that bed and my raspberries where I can get in here and keep this cleaned up and pick the raspberries. I'm gonna cover this with landscape fabric and build my bed right on top of it. On the other side of the raspberries, I had a row of peppers, which did not do very well this year, but it was really no fault of mine. It was due to herbicide drift that we had, which we realized too late. You can see the tops of the plants are really gnarly and did not, it just did not fruit well at all. I was lucky to get what I did. So, and again, that was too close to the raspberries. So I'm gonna get rid of that row of peppers. And then my plan is to use a row of mineral tub containers down here, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got started on the other side. And then where I have the holes burnt through the fabric, I will, I will run a row of tomatoes like I've got on this opposite side. This is the south side of the tunnel and one 70 foot row of tomatoes has been plenty for what we need plus supply in my shop. So that's all I'm gonna worry about next year is having one row, but it'll be on the other side. I know you're supposed to do a four year rotation on tomatoes, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do it every other year and hopefully that'll work. And I'm actually gonna move those into containers also. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Over here, what I've just got finished planting today are blueberries. And I am really, really excited about these. These things are gorgeous. They're two year old plants. I got them from a place called um, True Vine Ranch in Bonner Springs, Kansas, which is a suburb of Kansas City. And these are the nicest blueberries I have ever had. And let me tell you, over the years, I can't tell you how much money I have spent trying to get blueberries to grow. So I've decided to try again, only I'm doing it containers where I can control the soil and the moisture. And I have high hopes for this. If these do well, I'm going to continue this row on down. I need nine more plants to complete this row. But I started that right now. I've got 10. They are a Rika is the variety. It is an early early um, bearing as far as spring. So I am really, really excited about this. I've never, ever had this nice of berries before. But anyway, this is what I'm planning on doing, is turning the entire tunnel into containers. Like next year, my tomatoes will be in these tubs and grown in a row. And then I'm gonna build another bed along this side, two foot out to where I still have plenty of space to get in and plant something else. And I'll probably cover these holes so nothing comes up through them, the ones that I've got burned in the landscape. 
but I think that this is going to be something where maybe I don't get as much in this tunnel as I've done in the past, but I'll be, I'm, I'm thinking a lot more productive than I've been. Instead of wasting all my time cleaning up weeds and trying to keep up with it, to get it into a, a more manageable node. If this works the way I envisioned it to, I will convert the other tunnel up on the hill. You can see I've got one more right beside it up there and do the same thing. They're both the same size. They're 30 by 72. So I've got a lot of room. I've got water in both of them. Um, I'm just really excited about this blueberry deal. So the thing now, well, these are tubs that we've saved from our cattle. I've already told my husband he's got to get busy and buy a bunch more minerals so I can have tubs for next year. <laughs> or at least I'll maybe find somebody to buy the tubs off of because those mineral tubs right there are about $100, $150 a piece for the cows. Could prove to be costly if I make him get them that fashion. Anyway, this is what's going on in the tunnels right now. I've got a list of things I've got to get done before I have surgery in October because that's going to shut me down for a while. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will keep you posted. Oh, I wanted to mention too, around each of the blueberries, I have planted leaf lettuce in one and then carrots in the next and alternated it all the way down. So I'm hoping to keep that going to where we have some fresh lettuce and carrots this winter. And they should not interfere with the blueberries. They actually provide kind of a cover for the mul a mulch for the dirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've used a potting mix in each of the buckets. Two cubic foot fills one, so I've been buying the bales. And I've used the same potting mix before in my raised beds behind the house, and I really like it. So we went last night and bought a skid of it and brought it at Menards and brought it home. So I've got uh, about 20 more bags to deal with, and, and each one of them will, each one of these tubs will hold a whole bag. Okay, so I just wanted to give you an update. I'll keep you posted on how things are coming. I've got wood in the top of the barn I got to drag down for building these beds and get that started. And by spring, I hope to have things ready to roll. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more of them, please subscribe to my channel. I try to get videos at least of one, one that's a month haven't done so well this summer here there's the chickens out there in my in our mobile chicken coop but i'm going to try to be more vigilant with it hopefully as i come out of this cancer journey i can get back to it and stay caught up thank you and have a great day